So I've asked you guys on my Discord server to send me some of your best redstone builds for me to react to. And while some of your builds were kind of insane, you've got a 3D printer, one of the world's fastest piston doors, and Mushroom Gorge from Mario Kart recreated in Minecraft. So without further ado, let's see what you guys have sent me. So our first build is this map painter that is made in Bedrock Edition, and you may be noticing, wait, Crafty, are you on a phone right now? Yes, because this video is sponsored by the Red Magic 9 Pro. Listen, as a Minecraft YouTuber, I have to take this game wherever I can. At home, it's on a big, bulky PC that I can't really move anywhere, and on the move on a train, I'll be on a laptop, but I can still only play Java Edition. But thanks to Red Magic, I now have the power of a gaming PC in the palm of my hand. So I can run giant redstone machines like this without even breaking a sweat. It's basically a normal phone until you press this red switch on the side, and then it takes you to its special game hub thing where you can have all your mobile games in one place. And if you swipe in from the side, you get this really cool menu where you can change things like performance, so you can change it from rise to eco mode on lower end, or balance if you want something in between, but I'm gonna change it back to rise because it's the ultimate gamer experience. You can also change the volume if you want, you can change the brightness from the screen, and there's a ton more options on the side like screen recording, which is what I've been doing so far. So speaking of screens, let's get back to the build, which is basically a paint program that makes use of map displays in Bedrock Edition. As opposed to Java map displays, where the pixel color is determined by the most common block in the area, Bedrock maps only determine their pixel just based off one block in the area, so you can essentially have completely clean looking floors and it can still be a customizable map display. So to actually navigate through the dense redstone of this build, we're gonna use another one of the Red Magic's features, which are its customizable shoulder triggers. Yeah, these pink and blue lights can actually be used as controls for a game. So I'm just gonna move over this left and right icon onto the fly up and down control so now we can just move around a lot easier by using the shoulder triggers. So if you're a hardcore redstone or in need of a beefy gaming phone, then check out the Red Magic 9 Pro in the description. So I've just spammed every lever in this pixel painter, and yeah, it, we have this really strange looking art piece I made, and it kind of looks like a barcode. So in this next world, we have what they've told me was a hidden TNT launcher, and we have some education edition chemical blocks like boron, so it's by question mark brownie. Look at that, that's so neat. So instructions, all you need to do is press the button, and then you can press the button multiple times. Well, there's a button, and there's a wall with some balloons. Look at that, it's like Crafty Masterman themed as well. That's so neat. Let's push this button and see what happens. Oh, TNT hissing, door opens up, TNT comes out, flying at like 5 FPS for some reason, and it blows up. I don't know why, why does Bedrock do that? What the heck? Okay, let's see that again. Open the door. <laughs> what? The most frame ratey TNT like parabola projectile I've ever seen. So it said you can push it multiple times. So what happens if I spam it? So if I go one, and then I go two, and then and then I go three and four. So there's gonna oh wow okay never mind. I thought four. Oh well no it's it's kind of working. Look it, it's it's kind of came out except it kind of did just blow itself up, but we have some doors, so there we go. We can still see the redstone even if we blew the other one up. So yeah, it's literally just a door and there's just a TNT cannon behind the door and it's just a well-timed door. And yeah, that's it. It's pretty cool, pretty simple as well. Oh, there's a sign here. What's the sign say? That has to be there. Is it talking about the enchantment table? Well, the more you know, I guess. So next we have a 3D printer now. In all of these videos, there seems to always be a Java version of a thing and a Bedrock version of a thing. So we have a Bedrock 3D printer and also later in the video, we have a Java 3D printer by someone else. So again, we're gonna have a battle between the Java and the Bedrock printers to see which one is better. So these are the manuals. So let's see what this says. Uh, and uh, okay. So basically what it says is you put this barrel on top of this hopper over here, and then you press the load button. And then afterwards you press the start button. Now it said this was really slow. So I'm just going to pick the 2d option just so it takes a lot less time So we just have to load this over here and that comes on. So that looks all good. So then we press the load button. Stuff is happening. Okay. And that's done. Clicking. Clicking is finished. Shulker box is in place. And then I think we just start it. And I think it should start doing things. So let's see what happens. Is a piston going to fire at any point? Maybe? Come on. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's going. So it's pushing a sand block down this little chute. And then it gets to here where the slime block 
pushes it up against this piston, and then it just gets pushed into this first row. And I've also noticed that there's a resource pack for this nice thick redstone dust. Now I will say though, why did you have to put sand the furthest away from the machine? Like this is the block that's gonna be most used in the prints for air blocks, and you had to put it all the way at the end. So then the item has to travel all the way through the sorting system to get to the sand. Oh well, doesn't matter. We'll just kind of wait as this thing prints. Surely we get something other than sand at some point. Maybe we'll get some lime concrete. Oh, green, there we go. That's very close to the center. Boom, hits that, and then boom, gets pushed in the sand row. That's, that's cool. That's very cool. And another green, let's go. We have some colors now. Oh, we've got the return of the sand. Here we go. And just two more, and then we'll see what happens when you have a mix of concrete and sand falling into the water. Okay, last sand block. It's gonna go down here, get fired over here. Let's see what happens when you have some sand plus concrete dumping into the water. It does that, and then boom. That turns to concrete, all the sand breaks. That's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm probably just gonna pause the OBS recording and then come back when we have our full 2D grass block in the ground so we can see what this majestic contraption has made. Okay, so it's been about like four minutes. I started watching Exumavoid's new video and it seems like we might get our last row soon. So this is our second last row. Look at that beautiful grass block. Oh, wait, whoa. <laughs> wait, the brown concrete broke. No, my brown concrete. Oh no, wait. No, that's so sad. Okay, so I think this last row is just completely air. So the print is done, I think. Let me, how did I get two shulker boxes from that? Yeah, it's, it's completely air. So this is the finished print, our 3D printed grass block. You know, I'll add the, the extra row on the bottom because that's what it was supposed to look like. And yeah, there we go. We have a 3D printer, but we just chose to do 2D, so it would take a lot less time. I actually don't remember what this build is, and now I do. Oh boy. Oh, so this, from what I remember, this is a Mario Kart track. This is Mushroom Gorge, built in Minecraft. Now, is there a specific way that I need to... Oh, we have a sign. Let's see what the sign says. Items got removed for this demo. Oh, wow, we have a lot of signs. Oh, don't step on that. Okay, so do we have instructions on how this works? Or what? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna just quickly try and figure out how this works. Dude, I don't know what's happening. I actually don't know what's happening. I'm just gonna plop a boat down and just kind of hope for the best. Let's do a mangrove boat. Why not? Uh, start a race. I guess this is the start race button. I just don't know what to flick. Let's... Oh, okay, we're going. Oh, boy. Let's go. Oh, okay. Already hit the wall. Mushroom Gorge, go! Oh, wow, that's so cool. That is so cool. That is sick. We're going into the Mushroom Gorge now. This is like the part in Mario Kart. Oh, okay. Go on this side, go on this side, go on this side. Oh, oh shoot. Wait, am I stuck? Am I stuck? Am I stuck? Oh, I'm on the ground. <laughs> I'm on the ground. Dude, where's Lakitu at? No Lakitu to pull me back up. I'm, I'm just gonna have to do it myself. It's unfortunate. Go around here. We hit this, and I think that's it. And we do a lap. Oh, we, <laughs> we hit the... Oh my god. See your time? I have no time. I was just that fast. So our first build on Java here seems to be like a hidden enchantment table. So I guess we just have a button here. We've got this big old plus sign looking thing. We've got redstone on every single side. Look at that. So let's just push the button and see what happens. Boom. Bookshelves come out of the ground and we get, I guess, I assume it's a level 30 enchantment table. I mean, that's a lot of bookshelves. I don't understand how you get in it now because now you have all these bookshelves blocking your way. So I don't really know how you're supposed to meant to get in, but does it open? Like does it retract back into the ground? It does. And yeah, hidden bookshelf that you can't really go into, but that's fine. <laughs> so this apparently, I hear a lot of mobs dying already. Oh my God. What I was told is that this is a TNT blast chamber that uses creepers instead of TNT. So wait, are they getting, are they getting sorted right now? Oh wait, wait, they're like actually getting sorted. Wait, what is, ha what is happening here? Wait, so do skeletons go somewhere else? Wait, skeletons go down and creepers go up. Wait, how does that even, 
How does that even work? Okay, we're not even like into the oh my god, they're all oh what is okay, there's a lot going on here. Uh okay, I'm lost. Why did I go away from spawn? Where 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 are my books? I need my instructions. Okay, so wait for lamp to be on. I assume it's that lamp. Try and stay within 30 blocks. Okay. I guess it's made by these people. Very cool. So glowing. Okay, we can give some glowing to everyone. So I guess let's just turn it on and see what happens. Uh minecarts are going, creepers are going. So are they gonna get oh Oh, they're going down here. Oh, so this is like a stone farm simulator. And then the creepers like fall down here and blow up the cobblestone. Is that what happens? Oh, there they go. Oh, there they go. Oh, that's so stupid. I love it. So instead of a TNT blast chamber, you just hook this up to a mob farm and you just drop creepers like that. And then you get your stuff get it collected over here. Look at that. Get some cobblestone, some gunpowder while you're at it. That's pretty neat. So there's like a lot of moving parts here. Like I don't even know what all of this is for. Is this like sorting the mobs and like aligning them? This is just a mob farm straight up. Look at that. Beast of a mob farm. Average diamond shaped mob farm. This is Simon. So I've built Simon myself a few times, except it's like a cube. Now there are multiple things in this world. What is happening? So we have Simon. Let's see. My OG Simon made in 2019 before target blocks. Blah, 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 blah. I want to see these cubes. I don't want to see this. I want to see Simon Cube. Simon Cube made in 2022. Minecraft 1.19. Hit the start and the middle button. Try to go the same speed as the pattern. Going too fast will fail. This is timed. And this is the redstone. There, Dude, that's really dense. Oh my god. Memory storage. Memory storage. Color randomizer. Whoa. Let's play some Simon. Boom. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on. Okay. Is that good? Did I get a point? Okay. Am I gaming? Am I gaming right now? I think I'm gaming. Okay. Next one. Next one. Come on. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give it to me. Red, blue, green. So then I go red, blue, green. Now I want to see what happens if you go too fast. Because he said if you go too fast, it will also break. So let's see what happens. If I go red, blue, green, red, blue, green, blue. So if I go red, blue, green, blue. Oh, there we go. There's the losing sound. I went too fast. Oh, that's sick. So this person says they have three projects they want to show me. Oh boy, let's see what these three things are. They better be three. Oh my god, I almost stepped on that pressure plate. What is this? whack -a -light. This project is similar to Whack-A-Mole from Blue Based, which was somewhat from my previous video, but instead it uses lights and there is nothing to avoid. Your goal is to get as many points as possible by stepping on the light that you're on. You can see your points by looking at how far the light bar is. I recommend putting your brightness to zero. I'm not gonna put it to zero though. I'm just, oh, so this is the light bar. Ah. Oh, do I have to step on these? What's happening? What's, what, 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 what? Am I getting points right now? What's happening? Oh, this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, I kind of see why they told me to put brightness at zero. I'm a, I'm a cheat real quick and replace these with buttons so I can actually see which lamps are on because this is a little confusing. You may call this cheating. I call this a uh, awesome game modification. This is called, this is what Minecraft modding is. Oh, there we go. Boom, boom, ba boom. And then this one, boom, boom. So I guess you just have to click on all of them that are lights as fast as possible. Oh, oh, my points have, have ding-donged. Okay, I think I get the gist for this. So is that a timer that like resets every time you do all of them? I think I'm done now. Yeah, it's over. That was interesting. I pushed a bunch of buttons. I don't really know what it did, but that was cool. What is this? Press here to activate your one half chance of turning on. No, thank you. I'm going to move on to your second of three builds, which is, let's see what it is. Project based off horse race betting. So it's like a horse race, but with minecarts, I think. This project is based off horse racing betting. The goal is to bet on the correct minecart that will arrive first. To start, you will need to press the stone button on the top of the lectern, then select a color that you're betting on. After all four minecarts have arrived at the bottom, it will automatically reset, and if you guess the correct minecart, you will get a prize. The stone button can be replaced with a form of shop, so you can pay blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm gonna select this, I guess, and I'm gonna select uh, green, why not? So is this gonna, gonna start? I'm gonna break this glass so I can see it more clearly. Oh, green, go green, go. Okay, wow, that was really short. Wow, green came last even. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so neat how it just goes all the way up. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, 
That's a fun little game. And the last thing this guy wants me, this is my best project yet. Okay, I might make an eighth iteration, bro. Is this version seven? Oh my God, okay. Anyways, this is my single chest auto smelter. To use it, you just put anything you want to smelt and bamboo for the fuel source. And you can put multiple items in any order. This is one chest, so I can just have like bamboo and then also coal and then some a little bit of charcoal in there. And then I'll put some sand. You see, we're, we're gonna immediately just try to break this as much as possible. And then, can you smelt clay? I actually don't know, but spruce logs, why not? Raw beef, rock pork chop. So he said you can put it in like any order. So I'm just gonna like randomize it a little bit in my inventory. Some bamboo here, some coal there. Uh, take some bamboo out. Oop, never mind. Put that bamboo in. Do a little bit of that. And just, yeah, go in all the. Oh, shoot, I don't wanna do that though. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. Okay. All in the random order. There we go. Because this guy said you can put it in a random order order. Okay, so apparently I should just get some cooked stuff in this chest, and I do. Okay, that's sick. Okay, wow, that's sick. That's cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, how? Like, actually, how? Oh, well, I've broken it. You lied. You said I can mix up all the fuel, and I, oh, wait, but I'm still, like, getting stuff smelted. No, but you can- wait, was it only bamboo that I could use to smell? Okay, I think it only was bamboo that I could use to smell. Okay, so I didn't break it. I just didn't read his instructions properly. That's still cool. One chest auto smelter. It's also pretty tiny. What is this? can connect the fuel source to here. So if there was like a bamboo farm, you could put it there. And there we go. Okay, we're actually getting stuff back. Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess, I guess. So this person has made a two by two Rubik's cube. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have a red side here. Let's see if it's correct. We have red, orange. Okay, off to a great start. Uh, pff, yellow buried among all the wires. And then we have, oh, we have a sign. Is this tell us how to, eh, tell us how to use it auto solver. Okay, just like clones like a correct version. So how do you move this if it's a two by two? So I assume if I push the red, it's going to go towards the button. So white and then, okay, let's just see what happens. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. Oh no, never mind. It goes that way. <laughs> so that's going to go all the way over there. Oh, that's so cool. That's actually kind of cool. And then, oh, that's sick. And then there we go. We can mix it up. Oh, that's so cool. And then orange goes there. And if I want to put blue, what direction is this? Are these the only four buttons? Uh, they are the only four buttons from what I can see. This guy's using calibrated skulk sensors. What the heck? But this is pretty cool. I mean, it's a two by two, so I think, I, I guess four directions is all you really need, but that's really neat. So this guy, what is, why is there just a mountain in the background? Sure, why not? Anyways, this guy made a four by four piston door without sticky pistons. So there's just a lot of concrete powder, sand by this guy. Let's see how long this takes or what happens. So we have this big old piston worm thing. What is happening? And then it all turns to <laughs> what the heck just happened? It just pushed everything to what? Huh? How does it close? So then closing is just it. Oh, wow. There's <laughs> what the heck? Oh my God. And is it going to go? Is it going to go? It's closed. That's actually pretty fast. So wait, how does this work? So it all gets pushed and then it all falls down. So this all goes, then the bottom goes, so then everything goes down and then that, oh, that's so cool. But then how does it like this like flying machine thing on the side work? And also why, why is there a mountain? I mean, this looks really cinematic, but why is there a mountain? Well, that's pretty cool. A sticky pistonless four by four using a lot of sand. That's pretty cool. So this guy says he made a top down shooter. So like, I guess something like Space Invasion is what I remember from the screenshot of the message. Hello, I am Sinsty and I spent about five days of work on this. Here's his YouTube. Very cool. I hope you understand because I use Google Translator. Done. Move right, shoot, move left. Okay, I, it should be self-explanatory then. Let's see. Oh boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Move right. Oh, oh wait, that's cool. I want to shoot though. I want to shoot. Boom. Oh God, oh God. Shoot. Go left, go left. Oh, did I die? Oh, Oh shoot, I died. Did I die? Oh, I died. No. See, I'm either really bad at this or the game is like way too hard. Let's look at the redstone though. This is like pretty dense looking from what I can see. Nice redstone clock. We have a few signs. 
Player HP, what's this? Some cringe redstone wires, sure. And this looks pretty neat considering that's like spawns a thing and that shoots it as well. And then there's a thing on the bottom and that shoots up. Ooh, we got more stuff. Enemy bullet, player bullet. That's pretty cool. So it's like Space Invaders, but on crack and like impossible to play. But yeah, that's that's a pretty cool game. So this door is from Timmerman, a piston door, awesome, extraordinaire. And this is one of his eight by eight piston doors. So we're in for a treat because this thing's going to be really fast. So let's see it. Look at that animation. That looks sick. And then the opening. I'm sure the opening is just as good. Boom. Yo, look at that. Dude. Okay, I want to see like the open version over here. And then maybe we'll do it in slow motion. We'll do this one in slow motion because it has all the redstone exposed. Boom. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, let's do it in slow motion. So if I do tick, great, like, I don't know, three. Click this. Boom. And we get to see the door close in slow motion. It's like so synchronized. Oh, that's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. And now the opening in slow motion in F1, of course, because we've got to make sure we have as much door as possible. So that goes and then it gets those blocks and then the top and bottom come down and grab that. And now we have a triple piston extender for the middle. Oh, and then those blocks come down. Then we get a quad extender for the very middle. And then the top and bottom are also gonna go. And then the entire thing finally opens in sync. Look at that. Holy moly. That is a treat. Also, the redstone's just so densely compact. Like, look at this. Like, how do you even, like, how do you get here? Like, how do you get here? Like, or here or just anywhere bro these these fast doors are so nice too because they're like perfect like cubes as well they're just like so compacted and nice oh it's so i love redstone like this it's so cool so this one i was particularly excited for because i love myself some map displays and apparently this is a 14 segment map display there's a lot of stuff going on here okay whoa i have a map oh my goodness designed by this guy Look at you. So we have, this is what the map looks like. This is the 14.9 segment display. It's 14 segments are shown to the left. If segments are triggered out of sync with one another, overlapping pixels are removed from the display. I don't really know what that means. What is this? Press button to cycle through all 14 segments. I think I'll be good. What the heck is, what the, what the? Wait, I, I kind of want to see what this does. What is this? Oh. Oh, so those are like all the segments. And then I guess all the gray is overlapping pixels. That's a lot of segments. And then that's the bottom. Okay, so it's like a bunch of diagonals, bunch of vert, okay. How do I write things now? Okay, make your own. No, thank you. Oh, you can save multiple. Oh, that's so cool. Hello world, how are you? Okay, so if I do hello world. And we get hello world on the map. I think no we don't what <laughs> what happened uh, <laughs> uh we did not get hello world okay maybe how are you will work maybe how are you will work so if i click on how are you and then we get a, a i don't think this is english at this point but that's fine what about it's the end of the world as we know it because that's how it feels with these letters Oh, look at that. We actually got text that says stuff. Why is this the only one that works? <laughs> okay, so we saw the Bedrock 3D printer or printer, and now we have the Java one, and this one has a face. I'm sorry, but this one's already one. It literally has a face, and it... Oh my god, this is beautiful. So this one's by Perry Peregrine. Uh, she actually showed me... Oh wow, this is so fancy. Okay, but I don't want to make my own. Please tell me you have, like, your own sample... Oh, this might ring a bell, especially crafty. Layers demonstration. Oh, what is this? We have magenta, and then this, and then this, and then this. Ma oh my god, I know what that is. Wait, we're doing that one. We're doing that one. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. How, how do I set this up? I guess we're just gonna have to like copy it manually. Look at that. And we should just have to push the button. Boom, it's already going. Oh, what the heck is happening? Oh my god. It prints it midair? What? What? Oh my 
god. No way. Oh my god, the printer's alive now. Look at it go. Dude, wait, that's sick. Okay, let me tick rate like 100 so it goes faster. Dude, it just prints midair. You don't even need supports. Oh my god, I'm so... Okay. Oh, so we have placeholder for air. Just, oh my god, the, the water. Oh, that's so cool. That's so awesome. Oh my god. So if you don't know what it's building up, basically, a long time ago, me, Perry, and J2KO, we made a flying machine that printed houses. And in that video, while explaining how it actually prints the houses, I explained that it has multiple different layers like this, and that the flying machine just kind of assembled the layers. This is that demonstration. This is a reference to that house printer video. Maybe I'll put it in, in like the end card or something, but yeah. Dude, that's a crazy reference. Dude, that's so cool. This printer wins. This printer wins over the best. Bedrock one for sure. That's what? So this person said they've made an auto rail junction. Oh my goodness. There's like, I'm like crouching my head under there. Oh my God. Welcome to Starlink. Oh boy. Oh, made by this guy. Welcome space cadets to your training day. Starlink is a general purpose Minecraft navigation system based on the idea of encoding a series of left, right, did what? Series of left-right decisions to get you to your destination. Okay. Starlink is capable of handling trains of minecarts with paths containing up to 12 junctions in a single trip, meaning that you can access 4,096 different destinations from a single station. Woo. Directions are encoded from right to left across the three lecterns. That's not how you spell lecterns. In the next room. If you don't know, if you don't use all three lecterns, that is fine. Access directions are discarded. Once your journey is set in place, set Oh, once your journey is set, comma, bro, punctuation, place your minecarts. I recommend your minecart in front. Wait, I recommend your minecart in front by the depart button, then press the button to start your trip. No manual intervention is needed and junctions will automatically switch to your encoded journey. If you are confused, there are signs in the next room telling you how to set up a simple trip from Earth to Arrakis. Okay. If for whatever reason you become stranded in space, simply break all minecarts and head to the nearest planet and start a new trip. This is so fun. Oh my God, I have a spacesuit. Oh, this is so silly. I love this. I like this already. Whoa. Okay, so this is our minecart and this is minecarts that are other things. Oh. Oh, wow. Left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right. Press pull. What the? Oh, dude. Wait, this, I'm like, I'm going on an adventure right now. Okay. Surely this works, right? Yo, I'm in space, bro. I'm in space. Why am I going to here? That's such a short journey. <laughs> oh, wait, we're going up here. We're going up here. Are we? Where are we? Where are we right now? Are we in Arrakis? No, we, we went to the moon. You know what? We'll just go somewhere else. We'll kind of flip all these levers. Yeah, we'll flip all three. Let's see where this takes us. Why not? Depart. I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm not going to lie. Oh, look at there's the whole map down there. Okay. Oh, look at these junctions, bro. They look so cool, dude. That looks like a piece of poop with a ring on it. Look at that thing. It looks like we might go to this blue one or this, this scary red one. I don't know. We'll see in this junction where we go. Okay, it looks like we're going to this blue one. Let's see what planet we have landed on. Dude, I love this. This is like a whole like story. This blue one is called uh, Vol. <laughs> Vol. Wait, Vol. See, see, we were about to land in Venus. We don't want to land in Venus. That's no good. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, there's a wall now. I, I was not expecting a wall to pop up when I did that. I do know what this is. <laughs> this is uh like an, uh, a big block swapper, but you can choose between all of these like special blocks like the loom and crafting table and whatnot. So this is the fletching table, I guess. So is a fletching table gonna come out from the ground? Let's see. At some point, eventually. Maybe. Oh, it's there. It pops up there. I'm actually so dumb. I was looking in the wrong place. Okay, there we go. Stone cutter. And let's go. I think this would be cartography table. And then, oh, there we go. And then we do this one. I don't know which one this is. Oh, this is the floor. And we have hoe, which I assume is a composter. There we go. This should be smithing table. And there we go. It does this really fast, actually. Ah. Uh, oh, look at, oh, it's like encoded with like signal strength and he uses pushers. Oh, that's so cool. Next up, we have connect four. And this guy spawned me in the middle of the wiring. As much as I appreciate redstone, I want to spawn where you're supposed to spawn and not the wiring. Oh, what is this? Is this note block stuff? Note block song made by Galaxia Notes. Go visit her channel. 
So I was supposed to spawn in here, but clearly I didn't. This uses tinted glass, which is interesting. There's no instructions really, so I guess I'll start the game. So which side? Okay, so it's this side's turn. So I'm gonna put it in the middle, so about four. So what is the display? Whoa! Oh, look at that. So then if I go one, Maybe that's what these lamps are. Dude, I love these like tinted glass displays. Like they're so high contrast. Like that's that they look so good. Let's go put the X on top of the O like this. Oh, there we go. I'm going to make a wiener. Oh, I made a wiener. I made a wiener. Okay, so now it should be number five. Oh, there is wind detect. I wonder which part of this is the wind detection. Why is this so big? Is this the wind detection? Is it like encoded in like every possible wind state? Like what is this big thing? I mean, that's what, yeah. I think it is just hard coded wind detection. So this next one, oh, oh, I remember what this was. They said it was a firework like cannon that could kill people. So we are ending this video with a bang, I hope. So, ooh, oh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay. Full power, bro, full power on both sides. Yeah. So I guess this fires it. Where does it fire it though? Let's see, quick. Oh, oh my God, there's, oh, oh. Oh, oh, wait, this isn't fireworks. This is just actual TNT. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was fireworks. Oh, that's so cool. It's all hidden as well. So if I want to go full left and then a little bit right and then do that. It's going to go Oh, oh. I don't think I waited. <laughs> I don't think I waited. I don't think I waited for the firing cycle to finish. Well then, we did, we did quite end the video on a bang. That's, that's a little, that's a little silly. I guess subscribe, subscribe so you can see your build if you ever submit your own builds. Yeah.